The search for MH370 continues. Over the past few days, new leads from satellite data have focused our search and rescue operations in the Southern Corridor. Our partners continue to deploy assets to assist us as we work to narrow the search areas. Yesterday, 18,500 square nautical miles were searched in the Australian search area. Two orange objects, approximately one meter in length, and one white-colored drum were sighted by search aircraft, but remain unidentified and have not been conclusively linked to MH370. HMAS success detected two radar targets within the search area, but could not locate the targets on further investigation of the, of the area. Earlier today, a Chinese search plane reportedly sighted objects in the Australian search area. These objects are not in the vicinity of those which were identified by the Australian authorities last week. A few minutes ago, the Prime Minister received a call from the Prime Minister of Australia, who informed him that an Australian search aircraft had located two objects in the Australian search area, one circular and one rectangular. HMAS success is in the vicinity and it is possible that the objects could be received within the next few hours or by tomorrow morning at the latest. These three search areas, totaling approximately 20,000 square nautical miles, have been identified for operations today. RCC Australia anticipates that 10 aircraft will be used. HMAS success remains the only vessel in the search area. A number of Chinese vessels are expected to commence arriving within the search area on the 25th of March. <coughs> Three aircraft, two from Japan and one from the UAE, have already departed from Subang today and are en route to the Southern Corridor. Six Malaysian ships with three ship-borne helicopters are now in the northern part of the Southern Corridor. Ten Chinese ships are in the Southern Corridor carrying out search and rescue operations. HMS Echo is currently refueling in the Maldives and will be sailing to the Southern Corridor this evening. In the Northern Corridor, Turkmenistan have confirmed they have had no, no sightings of MH370 on their radar. Each piece of information we receive from our partners in the Northern Corridor helps us to continuously narrow that corridor. Satellite images. New leads into MH370's possible location have come from satellite data. This was one of the four tools we identified that could narrow the search area, along with surveillance radar data, increasing surface and air assets, and bringing in more technical experts. The most recent images were obtained by the French satellites, which captured radar images of potential objects in the vicinity of the Southern Corridor on the 21st of March. These images were received by Malaysia on the evening of the 22nd of March, and we relate to RCC Australia on the morning of the 23rd of March, as they are leading the search in that particular area of the Southern Corridor. This morning, we have received a further set of images from French satellites, this time captured by cameras. These images were taken yesterday and have been relayed to the RCC Australia.